Bon soleil, bon appétit. Oh my gosh, I am making a copain from France. Well, it's actually from the States, the, the bird, but it's a male bird and it's delicious. If you never had one, they're wonderful. Instead of a turkey for Christmas, I am making a copain, which is very traditional in France. So check out this video. It shows you how to make it on a beautiful flambe with history and also with our Brussels sprouts and potatoes and oh my gosh, a simple meal that you can walk away and just be fabulous presentation. So check out this video. Okay, so this is what I'm going to make tonight. I'm going to make a cup on, which is a male chicken. And basically they're much bigger. Um, they're fed a special diet and uh, which makes them nice and tender and wonderful. Now let's get to it. So basically I'm just going to take my garlic, and I'm going to give it a good smash, and I'm going to dice it. And this is so simple to make. I'm making this actually for our holidays, Christmas. And now the advantage of this is that it's, you know, it's a bigger chicken than a regular hen chicken without the hormones and all that as well. So that's a plus. Um, it's also much tender and bigger. So my Christmas is going to be, oh, not too many people. So um, instead of a turkey, which would be an overkill, this is a good thing to do. And by the way, this is very popular in France um, to do this for Christmas meal. All right, so we're going to take our garlic, and I'm just going to whoop, push it right there. Push it in with my butter that I cubed, about three or four tablespoons. And in my mixture, I'm going to take some Zelda floss and just drop it in there. Two good pinches. And take some pepper. Good pinch. And some salt. And then I'm just going to mix that. And I should have brought a spoon to make it convenient. Super easy to make, folks. So I'm just going to smush that in and mix that up. And it doesn't have to be a paste. We just want to mix it, really. Now, 
Next step is you're going to take your chicken and you're going to loosen the skin from the breast right here. See that? The easiest way to do that is take a knife, take the back of your knife. That's my And I'm going to take the back and see how I'm doing that? With my finger, loosen it. Do this gently and try to go as far back as you can without breaking the skin on both sides, of course. Not hard to do. Just gotta have a little patience. All right, now we're gonna take our mixture and I'm gonna just break off a hunk here. And I'm gonna push that in and then push it in as far as I can with my fingers here, like that. And now, with your hands, you're going to move it. And you're going to work it even further into the breast. And you see how that's loosening the breast even further? I mean the skin from the breast. Beautiful. Look at that. See that? And then you're going to repeat until you have used half of your mixture on one side. And this time, not as far. There's nothing to it, really. There we go. And you see how I'm flying that? Like that. Look at that. Perfect. In here. Okay. Now, turn my chicken a little bit. My copa. <laughs> Not my chicken. Because the chicken is female. Um, just a wonderful holiday dish, and we're going to do this on the rotisserie. And it's 10 pounds, so it's probably going to take about three hours on my rotisserie. Because I'm not doing it full blast. I want to cook it slowly. And then I'll raise the temperature all the way up at the end when I want to run it because I just want it, it to take its time. Work this in. There we go. outside and all that, but uh, first I'm going to truss it and then I will season it and then add some uh, olive oil, which is, in this case, it's just regular olive oil and I infuse it with Zéa de Provence. Uh, that takes about two weeks for it to be effective to a month. So if you don't have that, regular olive will work and then, you know, add the Zéa de Provence. So let me show you how we truss this. Way so you can see. And I mean, there's many ways you can do this, but oh, and you can also do a stuffing for this, which is wonderful, and make a gravy and all that. But I'm doing this on the rotisserie, and I really, you could do stuffing on the rotisserie, but I'm choosing not to. There we go. Just make a simple knot here. I'm going to bring this over and go up, under, and over. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that again. Rewind if you need to say it. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to make a knot here. You can use a butcher's knot. Really, whatever knot you want. Okay. Now, 
I'm going to take my string, I'm going to push the tail in, come across, all the way around, and then my other string that I left on purpose, long, let's see if I can get it how I want, in between the legs, and you probably couldn't see that, so let me show you. I brought the string between the two drumsticks. Now I'm just going to bring that by the wings and tighten that up. Over and under, and just a simple knot or pusher's knot, whatever you want do is fine. All right, now we're going to tuck in our wing and we're going to slip the croquet over. Now this is not a rooster. A rooster would be tougher. Uh, if you ever had a rooster, the meat's a little tougher. Okay, I'm simply going under and over. And then you see, I'm going to pull up, pull down, and that tightens it. Simple to do. Okay, now, again, I'm going to flip it, tuck my wing in, nice and in, because we just want everything to be nice and tight on the rotisserie. And that's very important. Okay, let's see if I can manage to, now you could go over and under, but you don't have to do that. Just make it on. There you go. Now, cut the excess. Now we're ready to season our bird. I'm just going to do it right there. All right, I need to wash my hands. Now, if you have this out to pull on, you got to spin your bottle like this. This is an old wine bottle that I converted into this and just got one of the liquor pours. Works wonderfully. A little spin to get the flavors going. Again, if you don't have one of these, just use regular olive oil. Be generous. Now, I used to have more coarse salt on the inside of the cavity here. I want to do a finer salt. So I'm using sea salt here. This is Balen from uh, the south of France near Igmont. If you're familiar with that area near Nîmes. So I'm going to put some pepper now. Generous amount of Zelle de Provence. And then we're going to massage this guy. A little more pepper. Okay, all right, got everything out. Okay, let's rub it in. Get into the leg, the drums, the thigh. And that's why I said I'll have to wash my hands again. <laughs> All right, we're ready to mount this guy. I'm just gonna make sure I push it through, but I don't break any skin. There, looks good. Let's do the breast end first. And you want it good. This is a big bird. You could go up to 12 pounds on your front air rotisserie from that corner. This is just almost 10 pounds. I've done a turkey on there, exactly 12 pounds, and no problem. I'm going to get a good tightening. I got my special screwdriver that I only use for cooking. Goes in the dishwasher. <laughs> Give it a good time.
tight, but not too tight. Now I'm just going to stand my bird. And make sure we got it nice and centered here. There we go. Push it in. So I really want to grab in and tight. So I have no flapping. And I'll show you that once I tighten it down what it looks like. in about an hour to go look at that bird I just put my potatoes which I quartered them and tossed them in the golden juices that fall from the chicken um, I should say the rooster or the male chicken <laughs> anyways and we got our Brussels sprouts um, and those I cut in half and put a little maple syrup, a little olive oil, seasoning, and yeah. And we'll be back when this is ready. Toss the vegetables once in a while and you're all set. Oh my gosh, look at the results. So I apologize. Um, watch my other videos on how to carve. Uh, this copan, you would carve it as a chicken, just exactly like a chicken. But because I'm having guests, I'm about to let this rest. It's almost ready. So forgive me. See my other videos, though, to how to carve. 
But look at the beauty of that propane. Classic French, and I have my potatoes, I have my Brussels sprouts, all ready to go. I've turned it around a few times. And anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate my subscribers. <laughs> I appreciate my subscribers. I really do. Um, comments and everything. It does encourage me. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Happy New Year.